Transmission. For sure, I think he's gonna lose vision in that eye. That's really, really nasty. So yes, you have mastitis. morning. Good morning, Mark. Say hello to the vlog. Hello, vlog. It is day two for us. Day, uh, day two of many, I think. I think it will be day two of many. We thought we would be warriors, weekend warriors, and get this job done in two days. I don't think that's going to happen. We've been working at, at Jack's place down in London. Uh, he's had some basement issues. Just It's an old house, and I think it was renovated probably a few times but recently I think like it looks it looked very nice when we bought it 2018 so yeah so it looked very nice when when we bought it but of course you're just looking at everything cosmetically like unless you start peeling walls back and peeling floors up you don't actually know if it's quality or if it's just lipstick on a pig if you know what I'm trying to say uh, in Jack's case, unfortunately, it's a little bit of a lipstick on a pig. What was that a police policeman? Uh, beautiful morning. It is really frosty. It is maple syrup weather, uh, which means the mornings are gorgeous to look at, but really, really chilly. You should tell them why it's maple syrup weather. Okay. Well, maple syrup. So we're in the Great White North. We aren't the heart of maple syrup country. Like maple no, syrup Quebec, country would Quebec's be Quebec. Quebec is a bigger pro. It's the biggest province of maple syrup production. Ontario is second. Is it second? I would have well, thought like New Brunswick trees. or... Okay. I think just because of the zones of trees and stuff. Right. Okay, so we're number two. Uh, maple syrup's a pretty big business when we get the right weather, I'm, I'm assuming. We actually have a maple syrup guy right around the corner from us. He's been doing few, it for a long time. Yeah. We have a lot of really good sugar maple bushes. Um, yeah, it's been a good just kind of second income for a lot of grain farmers yeah. because we're not super busy this time of year so yep. then uh, we make we make fire and boil water uh, so why why we call it maple syrup weather is if the nights get really cold like minus I, what freezing. do they say like freezing. it's freezing yeah. uh, and then if it warms up during the day it just starts running sap everybody that has maple trees is probably yelling at their phone right now am I am I right is that right? Like yeah, it, get, like it gets it, everything moving? Yeah, <laughs> it basically starts to move the sugars back out of the roots that were stored there for the winter back up into the, going towards the buds and getting ready to the bud out in the spring. Right, so yeah, this this weather this winter has been really, really odd, but it's, uh, early. it's early, but this is, I'm sure maple syrup guys are happy because I don't know if the last couple of years have been that great. I think last year wasn't too bad because we had enough nights of that freezing cool. and then days that were warm i actually don't think it's too bad but it can really impact the quality of the sugar so sometimes i don't know if the first runs are good or not but sometimes you might only get a window of a week to do it sometimes you might get a two-week window it's so if it works they're at it yeah so anyway that's your maple syrup trivia that no one asked for good on pancakes french toast it is really good cream, it is yummy straight from the jug yeah so yeah we're heading down to jack's for day two yesterday do you want to tell them all like what the plan of attack is because i get lost when i start talking about it we have to try to solve the somewhat water issues we have cracks in the foundation that are weeping water and then the floor because it's an old concrete floor it doesn't really have a vapor barrier to stop moisture from coming up through the concrete so then if you put something over the concrete it tends to sweat and then you get moisture locked in underneath the flooring so what we're doing is taking some uh, products and we're going to basically envelope the wall and the floor uh, so that there's kind of an air like a eighth of an inch to quarter inch air gap that if water gets in it can find its way to the sump pump or uh, air can get in there and help dry and keep it from mold free so uh, if that wasn't done with the original stuff no. so we're trying to go through and 
fix as much as we can to try to alleviate future wood rot and mold, mold growth. Yeah, so we're just starting with the one bedroom and then we'll redo the rest of his basement as time allows. As his money allows. As his money allows, because it's gonna be very, very costly for poor Jack uh, on top of a mortgage, so little bits, little baby steps, but it's the bedroom's the top priority right as, now. Uh, I said to Jack, adulting is hard. Adulting is hard. <laughs> Disclosure, I have no idea what I'm doing. Well, the good thing about putting this online is someone will tell you what you're doing. Oh, what's up? <laughs> This week? Yeah, but it won't. You can take one too. I don't want you to. Good morning. It is Monday, and weirdly enough, I have to start my day not in the barn. I have a dentist appointment. It's been, it's been a year. Now I do get my teeth cleaned. I do do that, but uh, yeah, with everything with Jess, it just got put off. Life got, life just got put on pause in 2023. So I am. Gonna do some adulting this morning and then uh, run back to the barn and check on my ram, my little eyeball ram. If you watched the last video, I've got one with a pretty nasty eyeball. So I wanna check it again and then send a pick, another pick to Rex and see what he's thinking. So I will catch up with you guys in a bit. I'm running late. <laughs> Imagine that. My first appointment in 2024 and I'm late. <laughs> I am back. Good news is no new cavities. The bad news is I have to go back in three hours uh, because I have a loose filling. So they just have to reinstall. I don't know. She's like, can you feel it? I'm like, no. She goes, well, that's good. I never filled you guys in on our jack situation. So the trailer is full of our deconstruction projects. So we are gonna take a few minutes right now and just get it all out of the back of this trailer. But we had big hopes to be done that in one weekend. It's gonna take probably all of February. We need to finish the floor and that's just the subfloor. We had to finish that. So I think that might be Friday because I think we're busy every day this week until Friday. I don't know where he wants this. This way or in front of that door? Hmm. And then uh, we'll have to start working on the walls. So yeah, lots of work. I think it was a fever dream to think we'd be done in one weekend, but whatever. Just trying to manifest positively and that doesn't usually turn out so good for me. No, but that wind is, is it out of the north? We need the sun. Why does everybody else get the sun and we don't? I don't, I don't know, I'm not really happy. I'm not happy about it either. Talking to? Is she in the defender? She's like, stop talking and let's go. We're not going anywhere, Lucy. sisters all of a sudden. Hmm? Sorry. Sorry, honey. We're not going anywhere.
transmission is. Oh. Having myself a little tea. Jess got me this cute little hydro flask mug for Christmas and I'm telling you it is so perfect for my little tea. I get in so much trouble with friends and family that I don't drink water. I, I've tried numerous times to get like on a water drinking kick and I just don't. But I love tea so I'm thinking tea is close. It's just herbal tea. There's no caffeine so I think we're good. It's my habit. This one's the apple cinnamon that I just got. So good. Mm. It's so good. Yum, yum. All right, I'm gonna check that ram. Piper, no, they're gonna run away. Let's see if I can find them. Oh, there he is. I treated him the other day with penicillin. It's still nasty, really nasty. I'd like to get an updated picture so I can compare uh, Friday's picture to today's picture just so Rex can sort of have a before and after. For sure, I think he's gonna lose vision in that eye. But his other eye's perfectly fine, so. I do wonder, there's nothing really too sharp here. I mean, the only thing he could have rubbed it on is if he got one of these bars, one of these welds off these bars and like poked it. Ironically, I just got a text from Carissa saying there's a U down and I just was looking at her. I'm like, why aren't you getting up? Hey, honey, do you have my It's a little, little warm. It's very hard though. So yes, you have mastitis. Okay, let's get you treated, all right, honey? You don't want to end up like her. Okay. Maybe I'll put you in there with her and she'll have company. Everyone's gonna tell me to squirt her out. Yeah, it's water. So that's mastitis. The other teeth looks okay. Let's see what this one looks like. Not even anything coming out. But this one's water. Okay. Let's say this. Why, honey? You're almost there. <laughs> Okay, what I'm gonna do with her is exactly what I did with the other one to get her up. So I'm gonna treat her for preg tox, even though it's not preg tox, I realize that, but the calcium and the glucose seems to help get them up. And then I will treat her for the actual mastitis as well. And I'll also give her Medicam, which is a painkiller. And that will help her feel better, so she'll hopefully get up and eat and drink. So no one would notice her um, until she went down or looked sad because her udder looks okay. Like she didn't have a big fat teat like this other one did. This one has itty bitty little teats. It's just her, the one side was very hard. It looks like she had a single. So what could have happened is maybe that lamb has just been attacking the one side and then the other one has just not dried up that nice. And that can happen. I was able to get a hold of Rex and he said, wow, what a mess, <laughs> which yeah. Uh, and he said, penicillin's all you can really do. He said, uh, treat them for 10 days. So 
Uh, I'm gonna just say this is day one. I know I treated him last week, but I'm gonna pretend I didn't. I'm gonna say that today is day one. I'm gonna treat him for 10 days. Now the thing about rams is I don't chase them in the pen. Uh, the only time I can catch a ram, or you for that matter, is if they're already down, which is not ideal either. That means they're really sick. So what I will do is just use the handling system. So every day I'm gonna run them through and, uh, and give him his penicillin and see what we're left with in 10 days and then go from there, just sort of reassess. But uh, yeah, this is, the, this is one of the times I'm so grateful that I have this in the barn because the boys are just too big to manhandle, to be honest, or woman handle in my case. Good morning, we are in the market lamb barn. It's been a bit and we should have a fairly good load to get ready to go to the sales barn tomorrow. Uh, it's been two weeks. We've been on a nice every other week and we've had quite a few uh, to go each time, which makes you know freight and all the efficiencies sort of worthwhile. So I'm just gonna set up here. Chris is just finishing up her last round of feed. And then by the time I get set up, she should be over here. Is 
some water. Okay. Yeah. Right. So whatever. So we're just telling her. Why are you so Do you want all of them over there? Yeah, get them out of the way. That was the Forey Trepper that did that. Yeah, Virginia and Paul had a jersey like that. She was sweet as pie to Paul. Oh yeah, you don't pie. I don't follow them. Sweet as pie. But Virginia? Even, even when they had them outside and she was trying to get the cows in, she had it chased. Virginia had to dive under the freaking wire to get away from it. She was out to kill her. Yeah. Like, she was just out for blood. Oh, yeah. Isn't that funny? Like, some of no, triggers them. As soon as, like, a mean one smells weird, yeah, then they're just bad. Like, something snaps and they want to go. So, it's Are you taking these off and putting it on that? Yes, ma'am. Well, there you go. Is this what you were going to put on your YouTube channel? Maybe, except that I don't have a camera anymore. Yeah, your daughter stole it. Both. Mm. She's got my old one and that new one, so. She's got both? Yeah. Turd. Turd. I think she's cute. Mm. Your water's almost gone out of the pasture. And so it should be. <laughs> well, that is a sight for sore eyes. We can see grass. 
which means Mark's drainage is working. This water's gone and a lot of the pasture is now visible, which is great. That's just ice now. So it's working. It's still flowing. All right, if you guys remember last week we had a breakout, or not last week, I guess it was two weeks ago now. The last time we shipped, uh, the morning I went to load them, they were all, all the lambs were in the alleyway. And what ended up being the problem is this, uh, this head rail here, it came unscrewed at the bottom. So I do have this blue gate in front of it just to keep them in, but I'm gonna fix this head gate while I'm thinking about it because this is what happens. I leave the barn and then I forget there's a problem until the next time I go to do the job. And then I'm like, Ugh, I never fix that. So I saw the drill in the barn and I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna grab that drill and I'm gonna do that while I'm thinking about it. Okay, someone's gonna ask what this unit is gonna be used for. It is... Strip freshener? A strip freshener. Right. So we wanna go over the strips we made in the fall. And freshen them up. And I, like, I probably even won't run the row cleaners, which tend to throw the trash out of the way. We have such a mound with the strip this year, making them late. It's mm -hmm. a little clumpy and pretty mound that I don't wanna plow out all the dirt that's there. Mm -hmm. All I really wanna do is technically run the basket so what i'll end up doing is setting the depth that these are barely in the ground mm -hmm. and the baskets do most of the work and what it'll do is flatten out consolidate and firm up the strip so it's going to plant smoother for the seed bed yep all right we've got uh half of these strip fresheners put on and they've been not fun to do because there's brackets and things in the way but mark and his cursing was able to con convince them to go on. So, are you gonna do the rest tomorrow? You gonna do the rest tomorrow? Okay, so the rest are getting done tomorrow. Six are on, six to go. It's another marriage counseling required sort of job.